Hello, N4H and H here. As promised, I told you that I would keep you as up to date as I could regarding the Yesu FT710 AESS. So I've been watching the uh, websites of some of the uh, main um, retailers that we buy our radios from, and um, they've been accepting pre-orders. You know, you could put down thirty-five dollars, and of course, you'll be uh, prioritized as soon as the radios start shipping. Well, as of uh, today, when I checked, you'll notice that uh, Ham Radio Outlet now lists the radio for twelve ninety nine ninety five. Now, those of you who who bought a uh, an FTDX ten at the Ham Fest recently for twelve ninety nine ninety five, because I believe that's what HRO sold them for at the Huntsville Ham Fest. Uh, well, you got a great deal because this is the uh, let's just call it the little brother of the FTDX ten. It is pure SDR. Uh, it does not have the hybrid technology. And, um, you know, we haven't seen Sherwood's numbers on it yet. I've seen some independent lab tests. My guess is it's going to be in the top 15 uh, on Sherwood's list once it gets tested. Perhaps even maybe around in the, in the um, I would say, the 12th slot, perhaps, plus or minus. But anyway, uh, it, is not, it is not an FTDX-10. It is the uh, economized version of it is, is how it's being positioned. In fact, uh, John Crook, the marketing manager for Yesu, when he made the official announcement, you may recall, I covered this in video number two of this series, that he said that um, it would be like the FTDX 1200 was to the FTDX 3000D. So the 1200 was, you know, similar, it looked very similar. But it didn't have down conversion. You know, it, it just it was it was a light version, economic version, you might say, of the FTDX 3000D. So uh, that's what the FT710 is positioned to be. But it looks like you can you see the button here, buy it. So it looks like you can order one right now for 12.99.95. Now, my prediction is, and I could be wrong, uh, that the FTDX10 now will be put. Let's see what their price is. As a matter of fact, let me look now that this is in here. The last time I checked, it was around uh, 1400. So we'll see what it looks like in here now. FTDX10 is on sale for $100 more. Okay, I got to be honest with you, folks. Um, that's still an incredible deal for a hundred dollars more you get the hybrid technology the um you see the regular price is 16.99.95 that was the introductory price when the ftdx 10 uh came out and a few months into it um i didn't think they would discount it as deep as they did but they did they brought it down to you know 13.99.95 i believe is what it was for last christmas i put out a video about that and that is the price they've got it at right now. But that you can see here, that involves $300 in discounts. So uh, that expires the end of September. And so if you add 300 to that, it does indeed look like the FTDX10 may go back up to its original price. I think there'll probably always be some sort of a discount that will keep the FTDX10 at somewhere in the $1599.95 range. That's just my guess, an educated guess, I guess you might say. Uh, but, you know, still a great value in a radio. I've said it many, many times. I mean, let's put it in perspective. In 1959, a Drake transceiver was $599. In 1959, a Collins transceiver was $1,200. And, you know, nowhere near the technology that we're getting today for even sixteen ninety nine ninety five. I mean, this is an unbelievable deal, even at that price, because um, if you're if you go by Rob Sherwood's numbers, granted he's testing one thing, you know, so that's not looking at the radio as a whole. But if you do go by that, you know, you're talking about a radio that's seventeen hundred dollars. This beating radios that cost fourteen thousand and seventeen thousand and eight thousand um, in Sherwood's list. But okay, this is about the 710. I just wanted to give you a, a perspective there. So really, right now, at, at the introductory price of, um, there we go, $1299.95, it's actually only $100 less 
than an FTDX10. Now, if you're you know big on SDR only, if you're big on um, a little bit smaller package, the display is a little smaller, of course, then this still may be the radio for you. And honestly, it's just like I've said about the IC7300. If your interest in amateur radio is to come home in the evenings after work and jump in on a 40-meter or 75-meter net and have a rag chew with friends, this radio is more than you'll need. The IC7300 is more than you'll need. So, uh, you know, there's, there's that to be considered. If you're into contesting or rare DX chasing, uh, then you're probably going to want to lean more towards the FTDX10 just because of its Im increased uh, abilities to handle uh, congested bands. But there you go. Let's look at a few other websites. I pulled up DX Engineering. I don't know what's going on with them. Their price is fifteen ninety six ninety nine. Of course, not in stock. Um, and they don't even have an image up there yet, so I'm not sure what's going on with DX Engineering. Here's Gigaparts, twelve ninety nine ninety five, matching uh, HRO. And of course, they're doing the free shipping, just like uh, HRO is. See here, free shipping. Main Trading Company is another one that's very popular. And their price is twelve ninety nine even. Now I don't see anything on there about free shipping, so that could be something you'd want to uh, to look into. But so those are the four manufacturers I looked up. That uh, well, I did a survey a while back on my YouTube channel among the uh, Patreon support team, and as far as you know, who they mostly bought from. And these are four of the main suppliers. There's also R and L. Uh, let's, let's see. Let's just pull that up right quick. Um, and see if we can find a listing for the FT710 with them. Uh, come on. There we go. FT710. Hey, guys, doing this live. For, well, not live, but I'm shooting this on the, <laughs> on the fly here. All right. FT710. Hmm. Not coming up. So may not be available from RNL just yet. Um look 991A is in there for 1228. Still a great radio. But okay, so um I'll end up on this screen then. But and you if you've watched videos number one through four on this particular transceiver, I've already a uh, video number one was when it was a rumor. Um and I just analyzed it based upon how similar it is to the FTDX10. Um, and then the the last video number four is when they had released the uh, the de more detailed specs about the transceiver, and I went through the block diagram, showing that it is indeed a um, pure SDR. I'm expecting that Yesu probably does a little better job of filtering than many of the SDRs. In the front end, even with the bandpass filters, plus the uh, randomization and dithering, which is sort of similar to what's called IP plus um, in some of the other SDR radios, um, you know, it's it's something to improve the cross modulation characteristic of the receiver, similar to IPO uh, in the superheads, and um, you know. I'm expecting that the Yesu DSP is probably going to be similar, if, if not the same, as what's found in the FTDX10. So if that's the case, the 710 is going to have a leg up already just because the DST is so, DSP is so fabulous in the FTDX10. Okay, so there you have it. You can place an order, looks like. Uh, those who, I guess, who reserved one for the $35 uh, will get theirs first, and then anyone who's placing orders uh, now will of course get into the queue and if i happen to get my hands on one of these i'll shoot a series but i'm going to guess right off the bat that you'll probably be able to go through my ftdx 10 series and set the menu up uh it, it should be very very similar i mean the displays we cut co i covered this in other videos the display is everything on this display matches the ftdx 10 except where roofing filters are for the ftdx 10 since it's a hybrid this has a button to turn off the DNF, which is Yesu speak for auto notch, di a digital notch filter, but it's, you know, an auto notch to uh, prevent heterodyne tones, when, when uh, tuner uppers. 
Okay, well, hey, thanks for watching the video. I told you I'd do the best I could to keep you informed. Um, I did actually receive a phone call with a little bit of tip about the price, but until it was verified, I didn't want to put it out. But here it is, $12.99.95. I don't know what's going on with DX Engineering. I'm sure by the time they get an image in there and maybe they just have to get a little work done on their website here to correct that because that can't be right. Okay, if you would never want to pay that price for an FT710 when you can get an FTDX10 for $100 more than the uh, price listed here from a, uh, Ham Radio Outlet. Okay, well, hey, again, thanks for watching, and uh, thank you to the Patreon team who bring these videos to you. I'm just going to quickly say if you want to join that team, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. Without their support each month, these videos will cease. Just can't afford to do this on my own. And so, uh, again, if you want to join the team, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. Please do me a favor. Click the like button. You know, smash that thumbs up. That helps us out with YouTube. And also consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe to the channel, be sure to click the notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Usually one or two a week. Uh, this week, they're going to be three because of this one. Um, anytime there's something that I want to get out in a hurry, I'll go ahead and shoot it and, and get it out in a hurry. This may not even, if there are errors in this video, I'm sorry, because <laughs> I'm going to put it out as quickly as I can. I may miss something. Um, anyway, and finally, please uh, share a link to this video with friends on social media, email, text message, or just phone them and tell them um, so they can be informed as well. Thanks again for watching, and 73 from N4HNH.